Hi. During the dankest days of the Thatcher regime, Marxism Today ran a main front cover feature seriously claiming members of the royal family, including the Queen, were anti-Thatcher. Now, decades later, in an article, last Wednesday's Guardian, Zoe Williams is seriously suggesting the royal family are a beacon of hope against a hard-right Brexiteer government. She gushes over Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, Kate Middleton, other members of this archaic bulwark of class system, privilege and everything feudal and regressive here in the UK. According to this distinguished progressive columnist, the royals have morphed into renegades towards the system. Viable opposition to Boris Johnson. Same day, John MacDonald left his leadership hope should Corbyn step down, speculates favourably that the Queen may request the Cordroid one to form a minority government during the pre-Brexit meltdown. In short, a constitutional coup. Victory at last! Thanks to Her Majesty! Such is the bankrupt Liberal left, as rotten, decayed as the rest of the establishment. Any 14-year-old anarchist could tell these idiots, along with the rest of the liberal leftist miasma who secretly harbour such illusions, that the very first meaningful task of a genuine revolution will be total abolition expropriation of the monarchy. The liberal leftists have long ago abandoned the working class, except as voting for the for university student phony radicalism, identity politics. As our political system disintegrates, I'm looking forward to the whole lot exploding in the smug liberal leftist faces. Can you imagine their squeals of horror once the first barricades are thrown up? Yet, according to Zoe Williams, literally, the royals will be on the same side of these barricades as ourselves. Do me a favour, will you? Bye.